Welcome back to another review. This time it is a review of the Hoover Turbo Power U1050. Um, this mine dates as the 19th week of 1997. So I got this a while back, it's just I couldn't be bothered to do a review of it. But well, I am now, so uh, as usual, I'll start from the bottom and work up. So now. As you can tell, it says Turbo Power Brushed Edge Cleaning. Excuse that shadow, but here's your file position height right control. Short, if I can do it one handed. Medium to short, yeah, medium to short to medium. Medium, long power carpet, but I'll just leave it on medium to short, short to medium. Now, if you get in the right light, you can do this weird scratch on it. Well, several scratches, but just at a quick glance, you can't really see it. So, with this being a rather basic model, very basic, there's no headlight. You have your furniture guard. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh, there you go. This is edge cleaning. And edge cleaning. I'll show you the brush rod while I'm here. Flex is going to fall off, but not to worry. Just get it down. So, here's your Hoover Activator brush roll. Fairly stiff bristles. Edge cleaning bristles. And your beaded pads. As you can tell, that's still intact. So, not a lot to say about it. Um, what else? You can just see bellows under there. Now, I feel like getting to focus. There we are. By appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, manufacturers of vacuum cleaners and laundry equipment, Hoover Limited, Mother Tidville. So, there's a few more scratches on the back door there, but you can't really see it that well. Now, for cost cutting, they just blanked off the air freshener so 500 specifying the motor wattage so as you can see it says hoover on the back door release pad press that down and pull forward now as you can tell there is a bit of damage on the back door there but here's where there would have been an air freshener there's a little cleaning for maximum cleaning efficiency sticker so, you can tell it's a little bit dusty in there. I just have one of these genuine bags. Um, Non-reusable bags. So, I'll just close that. Now, for some reason, it goes a bit wonky. So, you kind of have to push it and then kind of pull up at the same time on the bag. There you are. Just stand up. Which is pointless because you need to review the back. Oh, well. Um, anyway, again for even more cost cutting they just embossed the um, kind of roundel to turn it around. You have your flex on the back, your, I forgot to measure it but again I dare say somebody will comment. Your moulded plug as usual. So I'll just put the flex behind there. Now again, for even more cost cutting, what they did was, this is snapped, but even if it, um, even when it was new, uh, there wouldn't have even been a cord hook, that was just a blanking piece, so how they managed to snap that, I don't know. There you have your handle release, pedal, so, your 360 degree swiveling upper cord hook, now that's supposed to click like that, but I need to, um, sort that out later. Another blanking piece, although that would have been for Autoflex models. Your on off switch. And if I can get that into focus. I just did that as a little reference so I know which is on and which is off. So as you can tell for even more cost cutting, they just blanked off where the handle switch would have been and obviously relocated it on the back door. So, that's about all to say about it. Oh yes, I didn't show you the um, rating sticker, did I? 
my bad. If I can just there we are. Nearly forgot that. But see, we have your bellows. Just get that into focus. Can't see that too well. There we go. So Bieber approved. I'm not gonna bother reading that. I can read it yourself. So, yes, all lovely and clean. So, I will just get this plugged in. Get this plugged in. And away we go. So, I've got some sugar, as you can see, on the ground. So, if I can try and do this one-handed. It's just a quick demonstration, I know, but it makes a change from me witching on for 15 minutes, but so yes. Now, well, there's not really a lot else to say about it, but so that is my 1997 Hoover Turbo Power One. A rather basic machine, but it's still nice to use to be honest. So thank you for watching this review and more reviews will be coming soon, so if you'd like to subscribe, so I've got a Turbo Power 1000 re review again coming soon. Um, what else? I want to do a review on the U2716, the U2332, and hopefully a Hoover Turbo Power Junior should be coming soon. Hopefully, so reviews will be coming up of those eventually. But anywho, thank you for watching.